Here we go. You didn't see my. Oh, let's see. Got it. Hmm. Good. Hey, good it's Asriel Lawless. And once again, you've fallen straight into Hellavella for another Lawless interview. And today we are interviewing Callie Thomas. Say hi, Callie. Hi. There she is. And she has written a wonderful Vela flow that many of us know and many of us read called A Forest of Stolen Memories. Welcome to you, Callie. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, you bet. You bet. <laughs> so when did you decide to, well, let's say just start writing. When did you start writing? And then when did you start writing for Vela? Um, okay, so let's start with the first one. When did I start writing? Um, I think I started writing when I was really young, uh, probably like in elementary school. Um, I started, uh, we do, you, you do all those projects in school where they're like, maybe one of you will be a writer. And um, I was like, I like this. This is way better than math. <laughs> so um, where you're just, you know, you get to write stories and create characters and have this funny little dialogue in your head and people I think you're slightly strange, but for you, it's awesome. Yeah. So um, I started writing like that, but um, I would say middle school was when I actually like started writing my first, I think I did a Camelot, like King Arthur Ooh. style um, story. And this is middle school. So don't, don't be expecting high quality. And oh, I think you I know. it's pretty terrible, but uh, I wrote something and my teacher stole it um, while I was supposed to be doing um I can't remember what class I was in. I was in class and she, they, she took it. <laughs> I think it was in my, probably my English class. And then she edited it and she gave it back and she told me not to stop writing. So um, that was my first, um, but man, there's so, once you read a good book, it's really hard um, as like a new author and a new writer to like, be like, I'll never be this good. This is amazing. Like you obviously, have done years of training and just, it's just magic on, on a page. And so you're like, I'm, I can't do this. I, I, and so I've had many of those situations, but which, then, which authors do you consider to, you, you know, can you name one lately that has, you know, done this to you? Oh gosh. I'm trying to think since I haven't got to read as often as I wanted to, cause, um, uh, I will say the first author, which I posted, I think on a different interview that got me into like obsessed with like romance, which was Jude Devereaux, which is a really old school author. Yeah. Um, and I read, it was um, The Legend and it was like time travel. And she like is in a wedding dress and she like, trans, you know, she goes back in time and I'm like, oh my gosh, why have I not had this in my life? This is amazing. Like I've been reading like the stuff school gives you that's like dry dirt and you haven't had like this just magic and romance that it didn't anyway. And from that moment, I just kind of like gobbled everything up, but I've read, you know, probably all the classic romance from there for like Nora Roberts. And um, uh, like, I love all of her like magic ones too, besides her regular contemporary ones. And, um, but yes, so I, I like dove into that. I love, love reading. Um, and I went on and off um where it was like I oh, you know maybe I should write I should try this and then I read my work and I'm like oh my gosh nobody should ever see this it shouldn't see the light of day it needs to go in the trash maybe I should like crush my I computer and make sure no one cool at this point right you're still a little kid at this point right you're not oh. talking about you like this, three, four this, years. Is, this is me probably into my 20s <laughs> 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 this is, I've made poor choices. So yeah, I, um, okay, so I would say the first thing that gave me confidence to reboost is I did Nano Ritmo. I don't know if you've done that national. Yes. Yes. Month. yes. It's awesome. And it's kicks you in the rear, but at the same time, you're like at the end when you're like, cause they, I don't know why they pick it during the month of Thanksgiving, which is like the busiest month. You have all these people coming to visit. I so know. It's have just to like pre-game it, like get extra words before like that week of chaos hits. It's also yeah. my son's birthday. So it's like, psh, 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 psh. <sighs> but it's, yeah. So I did that. And when I did, I finished um, a book that's actually not even published. Uh, it's called Wishes um, <laughs> about a, um, a girl. I think it's a from urban fantasy. So when, when, what year was it you first did NaNoWriMo? 
Oh gosh, man, I didn't know I was gonna have to do dates. Um, oh dude, just the, the year, even get within <laughs> four or five years. Come on, man. I want to I, I didn't even do that. Many Come on. Do not quote me. Do not look at my profile on Anna Britmo, but I'm going to go with 2014. I feel like that's good. I feel safe. You know, I it. feel good about that number. I feel good about it. Um, I wasn't going to, you know, turn it over to the FBI or anything, but. I don't know, man. People are on you about being correct <laughs> not but me. not me my house is made of glass and i know it and oh, <laughs> so like, don't lie to me um but yeah that was definitely my first and i made a lot of great author friends um i found another group like a writing group it's called the writing gals i don't know um if you've ever heard of them but they're like a group of authors that um they're like friends and they write like sweet romances and uh actually i think michelle um is on vela she does um oh man i did not come prepared no, um this is about you this this thing is about oh, you we can't go down her. that rabbit hole well you I, can look her up later. writing gals oh. we were talking about writing gals you're the writing gal we want to talk to you writing gal yeah. Oh, so, so you okay. remember these groups and you got into that and that's like yeah. 2014, 2015, mm -hmm. you're, you're chugging along, you're writing stuff. There you go. And then, yeah. And then it just got, I had a little, a, a young guy. So my youngest was just starting like VPK It's a, um, in Florida, it's the like preschool. They give you free preschool. Very nice. Right. And, um, children here, not boyfriends. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> My husband would be there. Our children. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so uh yeah, so he had to start school and then it was just like my whole day then became like driving around picking up my oldest from school, dropping him off at school, picking up my youngest from school, dropping him, you know, like it was just back and forth that I was just exhausted. And that's when that exhaustion period kicked in. We were talking about <laughs> it, you know, and that lasted a good 10, 15 yeah. years. <laughs> Where what year is it? Um, yeah, so that's about right. And um my um oh my goodness but yeah it, it truly what can you do? What can you, it's you, you can't it sounds funny, it. but it's not <laughs> yeah it's, and so oh that's what i was gonna say so uh we were talking about it before the interview how i give mad props to all the mom writers out there who have little toddlers little babies and you are just pumping out some stories i applaud you because i could not do it i fell asleep at six we were talking about that like we i would just crash oh. so um yeah so but then i the, the answer to your second question which is like the longest answer ever i'm sorry um i started i started jella after i did i redid another nano to re jump after the whole kid right you know, wow. after the 10, 15 years of exhaustion. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So that was um, 2019. And it was like right before uh, all the craziness hit. And um, okay. yeah, so I did that and I met some great author friends and they're really encouraging me. And they were like, wow, your writing is actually not as terrible as you think, which is, thank you. <laughs> um, so <laughs> well, don't knock yourself <laughs> out with that compliment, man. <laughs> It's not garbage. It's not garbage, guys. So, um, so I did that, and uh, I want to say April because that was when it, it announced. I had I was working on it was called the Captain's Daughter, um, which was just a YA contemporary um, romance. And April came around, and they were like, "Hey, there's this new thing called Vela," and I was like, "Whoa, serial like writing, like on um, like." just like never ending story type of thing. I'm like, do I have a story like that? And then I remembered I had this crazy backwards fairy tale that I had thought of in January that I had like shoved in a corner because it was like one of those ideas that kept whispering like, hey, it's a good idea. And I'm like, I don't got time for you. I don't got time to like start all over doing like, like you know, getting to understand the characters again. And it's a fairy tale, it's fantasy. I don't usually... <laughs> Odd. I don't usually write fantasy. So um now everybody's like, oh, oh so when's your next fantasy coming out? I'm like, well, um, um, uh, well, now I can say the summer, but um, but yeah, so then I just went from there. I just started going. I allowed myself to write an episode, which turned into five episodes. 
I found an editor on the writing gals like I was talking about um, another author recommended her editor and I sent her my stuff and she was so nice she was like uh she she does think I have a problem with commas though but that's okay we we all have our our, <laughs> our strengths and our weaknesses I have our Achilles heel yes yeah and I can I've learned to, I'm like I think I'm just not going to put any in and I'm just going to let you tell me where they go because like I will put them in and she's like nope it goes here not here and so it's double work for her so um but what, what can I say I mean at least I have other things I'm good at so um <laughs> I think you're quite good at writing. I, I <laughs> thank I you. You're quite good at that, right? But, you got somebody yeah. to help you with the commas. Don't yeah, I love the commas. So I'm sorry if you read it and was like that comma does not go there. Um, <laughs> no, I don't think I was saying that to myself. I don't I don't recall that anyway. This has been one that I have I've read already Yay. some time ago, and I've read so many that I literally remember nothing now. No, oh, uh, I I can imagine. Well, I mean, you got to to do all the interviews so you can know what their story is about. <laughs> well, a little bit anyway. You got to read the the synopses and things. But I I read your story way before I started doing this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was early, early on. Uh, uh, yeah, back when there weren't quite so many. Oh yeah, it's definitely. I feel like every month is just like another like bucket of stories, and and, and not that they're it's such a variety of options. And so um, I know it's harder, like, I feel like I was really lucky to get in at the beginning, like being a new author and like no name, like being able to like kind of get some type of footing like in this crazy world. Cause I was really scared. Actually, I'm still kind of scared to like get onto like the actual like book format, like a book book, like get onto Kindle or paperback into that. Like it's like a whole nother world. Um, I actually just downloaded um, Vellum yesterday to like start putting my story in and try to make it into a book and I was like oh my gosh this looks real real right now this is this is happening this is she's getting real yeah I, I just need to I think I need to take a break and I have to like shut down <laughs> take a breather I'm looking at my husband I'm like oh my gosh this is, is this how he's like I don't know you've had a book for like a while now I don't know why this is new to you and I'm like I know but it looks like a book it doesn't look like a vela. it looks like uh, someone could read this like on their kindle <laughs> yes yes but this is happening right yeah it's, it's now, how many words did did forest of stolen memories wind up being what's what size book do we expect to see um it was 103,787 words that's good no that's good <laughs> that's good i i that's you know that is a, a little higher than the normal target. <laughs> You're so but, kind. You want to be like, oh, dang, that's crazy, girl. That's what you really want to say. <laughs> no, I don't actually, because you don't do yourself any favors on on Kindle, the regular Kindle, having a smaller book. Not really, because especially if you go with the KU program, which you probably will, the Kindle Unlimited program. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And uh, because their AI, their their AI is so smart, it knows when you turn the pages. Ooh. it's not just when you drop the book onto your your oh, so device i saw people like um talking about it where it's like instead of looking at like if we look at our dashboard on bella and we're like okay we can see this many people have read this episode whether or not they bought it with tokens or with free tokens yeah then in I guess Kindle Unlimited is going just by page reads so they can't yes, actually go like your page reads yeah so, like, so if so it's like I say, it's no friend to you to have a shorter book. And I, I write big ones. My, I've got two novels out there that really will probably not be anything other than Kindle Unlimited once I go back through them because they're too big and probably wouldn't lend themselves to the format of, um, you know, a Vela. What? I forgot Vela for a second. What? <laughs> anyway. Oh, could no, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating, drinking, sleeping Bella for yes. since July. I can't imagine. It's like my other, I feel almost I could say I have three children, and Bella is my my last yes. one. Yes, yes, very like needy. Child in a lot. House. <laughs> yes, it takes up, it does take up your mind, and um, 
especially between the 15th and let's say like the 23rd now? or 4th. Is it to now? It is it happen? now. You heard it? I just looked at the calendar because I have not been hearing people crying about it um, online, which is very odd. I think. I, I think, know. I think they have schooled us. <laughs> I think they have schooled us very well. I feel, I feel like my Pavlovian response mechanism is doing real good, you know, well and happy because I'm just like that too. It's like, okay, they've shown us that they're going to give it to us when they want. Yeah. And not a second before. And we can ask and piss and moan all we want, but it's not going to happen any faster. They definitely are. And I feel like they almost like try to convince us it's going to be a certain date and then they get like, oh no, 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 no. We, we'll let you know, but I wait next month. We'll all be expecting like the 30th, you know, <laughs> and they'll be like, oh guys, it's on the 14th. Then you get the memo with already been dropped. We're all, nobody's going to be expecting it. And so I've, I've given up like I'm just like, because to me, it doesn't affect anything. I don't get the money right then. I don't, I don't even see the money that I, it, you know, I won't see for two months. I'm like, oh, that's nice. Okay. That's well, what happened this month. I got to ask you, you know, how do you like this experience for the money wise? This is a pretty, pretty awesome author experience for a first time it author. This is, is um, decent money. I've actually recruited quite a few authors over because I, when we first started out and we started getting bonuses, I was like, um, guys, this is really nice. Like, this is not like a typical when you first start um, as right. a new author and you're making like dollars. Cause when I first was like putting my episodes in and calculating it up, I'm like, maybe I'll make like eight cents. Um, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, if they didn't buy it, on the app because then if they bought it on the app then apple <laughs> did a cut and i was like it literally is like that meme where the guy's like looking and it's all the numbers and he's like trying to figure it out and i was like all right I'll just... so you know they could be jipping me money i don't know <laughs> yeah, nobody knows this is mystery this math black box just be grateful and and you know move on we don't yeah. need to know do we yeah, I'm, like, I'm just happy that people are reading the money part is extra i just love that I had a story and people actually care enough to read it and um are bashing me badly on reviews that's also nice thank you I appreciate that um so um <laughs> or knock on knock on lamb I, I say that and someone's like well crack my knuckles um so <laughs> uh, but uh yeah I definitely the pay's been very nice like I've been very surprised and um and I think it's hard and people get kind of um hurt about like future payments. Cause there's not, I feel like there's no standard in the pay. So it's like, if I had so many reads in, you know, February and I have the exact same number or more reads, I could still get paid less like this month, just because of like how many new authors, how many new stories, um, the mystery fave number that nobody knows about. Mm, um, that, you know, that they don't reveal or even just like the, the pot, the, you know, the, the pot. Yeah. Well, and you so, announced that. I not I announced it. Who did? Oh, okay. I said they do. I, like, I know the, nothing. They announced the size of the, the oh, yeah. aggregate bonus. I think they do, yeah, on the 15th or whatnot. That's when they they say all that stuff. That magical day. I don't has, know. Like, I don't know when they say it because watching this I have video, stopped I have keeping up with it. You know, <laughs> I've, I've stopped keeping up with it because Zon has taught me. Zon has shown me. I've seen the light. That's kind of like the leaderboard. Like when I look at myself on the leaderboard, people are like, oh, you know, you're whatever number. And I'm like, I don't look at it because if you look at it, you're going to drop or go up. You just, it always fluctuates. And it's just to the point that it's too much stress to to look at it it just moves around and there's nothing i can do about it besides watch it and go oh no or yay or you know so i i just appreciate people reading and liking and vaping that is the best thing that you can do <laughs> exactly and it's it's very i think it's a very good good thing and i'm glad you've had a good experience on it i'm very lucky so lucky <laughs> Well, it's a, it's a great story of Forest of Stolen Memories now. Thank you. Okay, so here's another one to put you on the spot. Got oh, any gosh, plans don't be a year, for don't another be a year. novella? 
Got any <laughs> plans for another Vela? I have, um, well, I, I had one. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it now. I wanted to do a horror one for October, which I know is like completely left field. I was going to do like a, like a, a reality show. So I was, I wanted to almost even do it like daily. So it was like, you were experiencing the show as like, they were going through like these challenges and everything. And then I realized I'm moving. I also have a new story coming out in you know the summer I don't want to say a, day, a month and everybody's like you said so I'm just saying late summer what's the name um, of that one that's actually the one I was wanting to hear about oh that's the one you want to hear about oh okay. yes uh so that one is called a sea of golden chains oh it is <laughs> I love that uh it is in the same setting as a forest of stolen memories it's actually a dual timeline so while um you're experiencing rose's story you have this other character who is very similar having her own story and so we're um eventually going to meet at the I see. middle i see i see and then there'll be a third book right that branches like an i don't know I've, i'm trying to I'm, I'm hoping just to kind of wrap it up but then it I've had like readers, I've been really lucky that I've actually had some readers, comp, you know, that found me and um, asking for like, they want a different character um, uh, episode, like getting a little backstory on, I just want to ask for um, Anjali, who is the um, Rose's maid uh, later on in the, uh, I want to say, gosh, a little bit later in A Forest of Stolen Memories. And so I was like, sure, hi nice to meet you i'll do whatever you want no um so <laughs> you got ideas okay yeah, great. Let, me, let me take these down it, it's so hard because most of the time i um not that i don't love authors but most of the time it's authors you know reading the authors on bella and and but then you find like a reader and it's just like oh, you found me you found you like found me <laughs> in the sea of stories. Oh I could write that's a whole other book, a sea of stories. And um it just it makes you feel super special. And so um yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah, I don't even know how that feels. I don't I don't think I think I've browbeaten every single one of mine. <laughs> Maybe, maybe it was my ads. Maybe I, I roped them in when they didn't realize it. My, now see that um, that is also that's the next thing I want to ask you about. Oh, okay. Unless you have anything else other than uh, a golden I have for Vela, that is it. I have just the um, a sea of golden chains, and um, I'm going to start that probably like start working on it next month. I have a project that I want to try to do for this month, which is not Vela, and then um, gosh, and try to get a force of stolen memories like into a book, into a book form, which like I said, I keep freaking out every time I see it. So that might take a while. So, um, and then I got, uh, then I have the one, the horror one. So if I don't do it this, this fall, then maybe I'll do it next fall. And that way, cause gosh, I didn't think that force of stolen memories was going to take so long. I thought that, you know, by the end, like November, I was going to be done. And the problem is I'm so wordy. Um, it's funny how that happens. Talking, that happens. Like that. It happens. Yeah. It happens. Like, I'm like, there's one last episode, and I'm like, okay, just joking, guys. It was six thousand words, and I had to break it up. So um, <laughs> I'm really bad at. None of you will buy it. None of you will buy it. Yeah, it's like it's like the um, they're like bite-sized episodes on Bella, and I'm like, ooh, I'm trying. I'm really. <laughs> what kind of bite are we talking about? yeah i was like it's, it's mine's like a, i call it a chokeable bite because it's it's very big i'm so sorry I, I i was very good at the beginning like where they were nice and concise and then you'll notice that you keep going you're like i'm sorry this one's 45 tokens what's going on and i'm like i know that one was bad that was that was on me um but it's the good like you couldn't cut it up it was so much going on that i just felt like there wasn't a spot that you could like legit cut yeah, it up and yeah. be like okay I felt like you just like sliced this episode he was mid speaking and you cut it okay but yeah, at that point you just have to yeah yeah so I apologize if you're reading and I know a couple of my friends who don't like the long episodes and they're like can you give me a midway point so I can take like a mental break and I'm like yes I can give you one <laughs> it's really kind of sad that we've become a society that can't focus on reading for more than you yeah. know 
<laughs> you, you can't you focus on for more than 30 seconds at a time. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. I gotta do something else. I gotta be doing, and I, I am that way. And um, I, I think that the more that people work in, I think that working in computers and in data messes with your mind. Okay, in, in a way that it kind of restructures it. And literally you do just have to keep it moving all the time. You keep going from thing to thing to thing to thing. Mm -hmm, thing yeah. To thing to thing. And so I still, even though I'm retired and no longer have four screens to track, I still have <laughs> to one. Do, I have to have one little little one little piss ant scream here. You know? <laughs> Not quite like, the same. Oh, what else can I do? So I turn on the television. The television needs to be on. Needs to be something I've already seen. A white noise in the background. Yeah, needs to be something I've already seen, so I can't be messing with it. And then mm -hmm. you know, but uh, and and is that your background? Why you why you write? You have to have your white noise. Yes, versus absolutely. music. <laughs> absolutely. Or I can do music, but it has to be really familiar music. I can't. Uh, you know, new stuff coming on. Oh, what's that? Or if I'm listening to Spotify or something like that, I'll have to go look that up. What's that? Oh, that's neat. Um, oh, waste yeah. a lot of time screwing with that. So anyway, but we're not talking about me. No, no. <laughs> when do you write? This is this is what we need to know. What when do you write? And and do you 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 know you've got the two little kids, so it has to be when they're knocked out. So, yeah, so I do. Um. Uh, probably during the day, like when they're at school, I will write, but my best time is probably at nighttime. Like, cause that's when all my thoughts, especially like I spend a lot of time. It's like, if you looked at like the pie chart, there's a lot of daydreaming, like my daydreaming chunk of my pie chart is really big. Um, and so that's usually, I've had a few instances where I, like, I've like woken up like in the middle of the night. I've had like, like one of Cedric's lines was like really amazing. And I was like, this better be good. You woke me up at 2 a.m. And is, which it ended up being really, I think it, I get a lot of confidence on that one. That was his, um, what episode was that? Choose me. That was out episode. I don't know if you've gotten that far, but um, yeah. So I, most of the time it's during the day and then I edit at night. And so I have like my headphones on. And um, I have to listen to it. So that's what I do is I read it like a billion times. Okay, maybe only a million, but I read it a bunch and then I headphones and I listen to it. And then there's still mistakes because my editors still find stuff. So um, that's just life. So, <laughs> but, well, but that's your process. I like that. Yeah, that's you my read it out loud to yourself. No, I have a, a, you can go, it's called natural reader. It's free. And, um, I just put my episode in it and it reads it out loud. And usually I can hear when I like miss a word or like, oh, there, maybe there should be a comma there. That sentence went on really long, or it sounds really chunk, like clunky, like the sentence, oh, okay. um, or like, sometimes I don't know if when you read, sometimes when I'm reading even another story, sometimes my mind will be like, oh, you know, what would have sound better would have been like, or like, I would have liked more description here. Like my mind kind of starts, I don't know. I, I guess it's like a writer's brain. Once you start writing, it's really hard to read yes. other things and like turn that off yes. so that you can enjoy the story. And yes. um, it's, but that's the best part. You know, it's a really good story when you can immediately like jump in and you turned it off and you're just like, whoa, I don't even know what happened. I like, I just got to the end of the story. I'm trying to think of there was another story recently that I just read that I read, I read the love hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood and that one kind of like sucked me into I read that one when I went um uh gosh is that uh, available? went to Tokyo I went to Tokyo uh, around Christmas and I read that one I've been trying to be good about sticking with Vela's because all us Vela authors need more love but um but you can't do that from Tokyo um, well, I had, um, I had it on my phone, so I just downloaded it on my, um, well, you have it all Kindle and my Kindle app. And I just read that, like, cause we, when we're in Tokyo, it's all we do is we are like in a, in a train, in a train somewhere going like to get to another train to get to somewhere to, um, it's a lot of walking. It's very healthy, um, society with a lot of, um, on foot. And so whenever we're like, should we take a cab? Even the cab guy's like, you want to take a cab? And I'm like, 
yes we yeah. <laughs> we are lost and we don't know what train to take please help us um and we have like two kids in like 20 suitcases so um yeah so that's that's us in tokyo and then i just went to tokyo just um gosh was it last weekend or the weekend before with my my best friend um she's actually rose on the cover of my um vela oh, so neat. Yeah, she she jokes because she was like, you just asked me for a side profile pic. You didn't say what it was for. Now I'm all over Amazon. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, um, <laughs> but you look great. So, um, uh, yeah, so a lot of times people are like, oh, that wasn't a stock image. I'm like, no, that's my poor friend that I forced to um, take a picture of herself in her kitchen and I photoshopped it. So uh <laughs> the behind the scenes that you didn't know so that's so awesome I love it <laughs> so I was trying to say I was like man I wish I could get somebody to be um for the next book to just get some other person that I know so I can be like hey I also know this person too but for some reason nobody wants to volunteer to be my model I don't know what's going on so um, <laughs> well, I don't understand that <laughs> hmm, hurts my a little bit um so your, your friends yeah. will be wearing paper bags on their hands <laughs> And now I'm going to have non-disclosure and all sorts of a fine. Right, disclosure. right. And we're in those, the new clothes that they have where you can't be seen by a drone or a camera. <laughs> I right. have not heard of this. I apparently have been living here too long. <laughs> oh, oh, well, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's for, you know, people who have to worry about the paparazzi, but it's leaking into, you know, the fashionistas mm. as well. And it's a, I don't know. It looks a lot like a blocky video game, old video game kind of, and it's just, it's just to make sure that cameras can't, and it, they wear it on hats. They put it on hats. Oh my so goodness. They can't be seen. No, now I won't be like, what the heck is that person wearing when I get back uh, to the States? <laughs> oh, good I'll God. I hope prepared. it's not widespread by then or anything. No, <laughs> no, no, please. No. Oh, well, you know, people walking out of the Ross with it on. No. Um, I can't guarantee anything. I know you're drinking. I'm like, I too shall drink. Yes, me. yes. You may drink. Please drink. Oh. I see that. That looks like a Christmas mug. This one is Mario. This one's Mario. That's awesome. That's my, I, I went that. to the Nintendo World in um, Osaka. It was awesome. Oh, my kids dream and possibly my dream as well so um yeah i'm slightly nerdy i probably should have started with that um <laughs> well no we it, uh, yeah writers don't like nerdy people no huh -uh, no no well, this is gonna be awkward um yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no I, I think we're all pretty nerdy we like it that way yes mm. I, uh, I definitely, it was super cool. I can't wait for it. To, I know they're building one, I think in, um, gosh, I think in California and the universal in California as well. So oh, wow. my kids are waiting for that one so that they can go again. I'm like, you guys are so spoiled. So spoiled. Um, <laughs> like, like, like Osaka wasn't enough. Um, so, but anyways, I can't remember if I answered your last question. I, I tend to run off into little tangents. So you'll have to draw me back in. That's quite fine. Time. All right. Come back. Come back. I think, but you've, you've done such a good job of guiding yourself through what I normally ask. Like <laughs> whose Vela's do you read? You know, who's, which name me a Vela or two that you okay. like. So I've been reading I wrote them down so to make sure I had everybody's correct pen name and everything because I was like, just in case I'm going to be prepared like a Girl Scout. Oh, wow. So um, I wrote The Life List by Nellie K. Neves, who um, she, uh, when she wrote hers, I think she's in season two now, she, every week she would ask the, her readers to help make the choice for her main character. So it was really awesome because it was kind of like a choose your own adventure. And I was like, how is not more people reading this? This is amazing. And it started out so innocent. And then um, it's like this plot picked up. Uh, I think it starts off with um, a bagel. It's like she has like a near-death experience where a bagel falls off of a building and she almost dies. And then she realizes like, I haven't done anything with my life. Um, 
And so, uh, yeah. And so it goes from there. And so she's like, she makes this bucket list of all these things that she wants to do, you know, that she's never done. I'm going to have this great, you know, make something of her life type of thing. And, um, it's like, but of course she meets these three very handsome men who are more than willing to help her with, um, getting those items checked off the list. And so anyway, it's great. It's wonderful. And, um, it's got a little twist in there that, uh, you're not expecting, um, like she might not be who she thinks she is and hoo, hoo, hoo. so, um, like list. Yeah. It's called the life, like life, um, the life list. L I F E list. And uh, like I said, I think that's on season two and I'm starting the interim by Mary Rudder. Um, I started reading that uh, when I went to Tokyo and I was going to actually, it's going to be my next one on my, the hashtag, where do you Vela? So I usually, every once in a while, when I'm reading a new Vela, I post it on Instagram and um, just to kind of be like, cause that's the great part about Vela is you can do it anywhere. So I try to like where I'm, you know, if I'm at my kid's basketball game, I'm in the car, um, at the grocery store. I did one, I was at the beach, I'm on the train, take, a, take Vela anywhere. Awesome. Slip it in awesome. at your doctor appointment, you know? That's really cool. And so that leads me to my next question, your social media. Oh, hi. Now, <laughs> how did you, how, uh, you, I think you said uh, before we got started recording, you said that social media had had helped you because you yes. started to do ads. Yes. So I've done um, I started with just a Facebook uh, like author page. And then I moved from there to I had uh, Jessica Aaron um, told me, forced me. Um, to make an Instagram account and she's I can't say anything bad because she's really been like such a big help she would send me videos and be like this is a reel this is how you make a reel and I'm like okay thank you because I don't know what I'm doing um and um because I would always thought I'm just gonna do Facebook I don't need anything else and now I'm like like up to here in Instagram and now she's like hey now we're all moving to TikTok come on over. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't know if I can do another. Um, but yeah, so now somehow I think I might've agreed that I'm going to start a TikTok account next week. We'll see how it goes. Um, it might just be me and my mom again. We'll see. So um, I don't think so. I think you'll get in there and kill it. That's what I think. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, I, so, I you I, so the ads I went, we started, I want to say, gosh, October. Um, that was like the first month where it was like everything was building with Vela and then October kind of was the first sink and everybody's like what happened and because we were all were expecting it to just kind of rock it off I don't know how it was for you because you started in September right but it did it did like a little dip in October and then like November it went back up again and um it's kind of like I feel like it's been going up and then January it had that huge spike where it was like I, like we're like off the page it like broke the thing and then February it kind of came back down been kind of eh this month for me but um I decided to do ads and uh they started off terrible um uh, as they do because you don't know what you're doing and I mostly was just sending ads to all the Vela authors that were already reading my stuff I'm like wait a minute so I'm paying this money to show my ad to everybody who's already reading my book yes. this is not this is not the this is not what I want I've done something wrong I need to back up so um, I moved from there and we regrouped and, you know, I got a better like hook because a lot of times you only have like that one sentence and it needs to be like a really like strong hook. And I think mine is um, either I have Cedric's choose me, um, like when you remember again, choose me, um, or I have uh, what if the fairy tale um, started at the end um, with the back, my backwards fairy tale theme. And, um, and so then from there, and I had to do, had to be like a nice snazzy graphic. Like it couldn't be like, cause I was at first just like, here's my, you know, here's my book, you know, like on the, on like a little thing next to like a, a forest because it's in a forest and everybody was like, oh, you're trying to sell me a book. No, thank you. So, um, yeah. So you have, is like the graphic needed to be kind of like, um, eye catching, like like something from the story that was like hmm, what's going on here and so 
had to go through a couple of those to find out which one was actually good. And then, so that with the blurb, like a little um, section from your um, story, a little, I, I call it like a, a Franken quote because sometimes you can't really quote like a chunk without like, it won't make sense. So I kind of edit it, like put a little pieces in here and there. Um, and that's like, then that just kind of shot off. Cause that's where I get my majority of my reads is I get uh, like a good, like, I don't spend too much on ads. I know some people do, but I get maybe like 20 reads just from the ads. And then maybe I might hook like one reader or two to actually like start reading like from there because they kind of go straight from the ad directly into episode one. So it's like a ping. And then they're like, wow, what's happening? Where, how did I get here? Um, and so then, yeah. And so it's 50, 50, whether or not they stay or we're like, oh my gosh, I don't know how I got here. I think I just bought something and they close it. Or um, they are like, well, I'm already here. I might as well start reading it. And then they keep going. So um, that's why I try to put in like the author's notes, like calm down. It's okay. You're in Vela. Don't panic. Just read, hit next episode. You're going to be okay. You're going to get free tokens if this is your first time here. You know, like, and so I try to kind of make, make it a safe place for them. That's pretty cool. But <laughs> I like that. I like that. Very cool. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. So those right, are your question. I'll answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> those are your two. We have the intern, right? Interim. The interim. Yeah, I N T E R I M. Interim. Oh, okay. And um, the life list. The life list. And there's two seasons on the life list. Yes. But these are not yours. These are not these hers. Are not mine. That was the Nellie's and Mary's. Question I asked her a minute ago about what you liked yeah i'm just making sure i had it right before we move on to the next question which is uh and you've heard me ask a bunch of people this i'm sure if you've watched any of these videos i, I asked watched, everybody I if, watch you, <laughs> if you were the keeper of the keys for villa <laughs> what would you change if anything oh the power yes, um yes. Gosh, well, I'd probably start with my, my biggest peeve right now is seasons. Like the fact that I can't separate my story into seasons. Like I have a book one and a book two and I want to keep them together. But to do that, I have to have like a gajillion episodes in one long stretch. So like after ep episode 37 is when A Force of Stolen Memories ends and then episode 38 will start A Sea of Golden Chains. And so it would be nice to have them separated. Like if you think of like going to Netflix and you can click the different season, you can see the new graphic, you know, you can see the different episodes. Anyway, that's probably my number one pet peeve. I'd also would really love some better communication from Vela. She uh, says looking off into the sky. <sighs> it's a wistful thought um better so, communication from the the song like, gods. like when we had all the glitches with the episodes I mean we're still having glitches with the episodes I wish they could have just sent an email out or for us to have a website that we could go to and be like hey guys this is under maintenance we know this is this is down this is not working just so you know like because people who don't know might not have scheduled their episode accordingly you know, to factor in that time, that cushion, you know? So like for me, I did my last episode and I had like people like, you know, friends that were like, yeah, I'll share a little graphic to be like, hey, it's your last episode. Okay, three episodes, my bad. Um, last episode and um, yeah, it didn't go through. It, <laughs> I mean, it went through, it says it's live and, but it wasn't live. You know how it was, you've been there. We all been there yeah, yeah, and yeah. um. So I then had to like do damage control while I was in Tokyo. Like, I'm like, oh, where's my episode? And I'm like, nobody posts anything else out because there's nothing there. Um, so, cause normally my episodes um, I post on, uh, I say Fridays usually, um, but I actually, it, it becomes live anywhere between Wednesday evening and Thursday um, for you guys, your time. Um, and so it's kind of like my, uh, incentive for people that follow. So if you're following, you'll get a notification saying that my episode's live. And, right. um, so you'll get it, you'll know when before Friday. Um, but yeah, so that whole communication thing of like 
them knowing something's broken and we're kind of taking the heat for it. Like I know another author that she took um, like one of her episodes got stuck. And um, like, so I think Evie, I think that was her. Um, she has um, Scarlight. Uh, yeah, her one episode got stuck in the system and like, they, but they kept posting like the rest of them. So it just like jumped over an episode. And so the um, poor, the readers were like, uh, hey, what happened to this episode? Like it, we missed a huge chunk of the story. And so they were leaving her like not so good reviews about it. And I was like, I hope Amazon like takes those down. That's not very fair for her. Anyway, I feel like I'm airing a lot of grievances. I love Ella. Let me just, <laughs> 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 let me just say that. Like, I, I mean, nothing can be perfect. And, no. um, and I feel like we're always going to have like my, if you would ask me, I think this question was asked me last November, which was what would I change? And mine was, could we have it on Kindle? I mean, we are called Kindle Vella and we didn't have it on Kindle and it was really awkward to tell people like, oh, right. it's not on Kindle. Um, it's and now. yeah, so. so now it is. So that, that was like my big checkbox because it was so awkward to explain to people. Right. But, um, like, well, I have Kindle. Yeah. And so now it's on Android. Now it's on Kindle. Um, so that's, that's good. That's what that is. So I see that they're hearing our complaints and they're trying to make it better. So I'm hoping that seasons is something in the future. I'd love, like I said, a communication right now. I think we all just go to the KDP community and kind of vent there and be like, Hey, this stuff isn't working. What's going on. Um, but that, and I wish we could know um, how many faves we have and a more, I guess, uh, standard bonus. So like if I did better this month than I did last month, I should get more money, right? If I had more reads, like double my reads, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't make sense. So when you're trying really hard and working really hard, I know people are getting frustrated. Um, and some are considering leaving Vela because of that, because they are like, I'm trying, I'm putting all my effort in this. I'm doing, I'm making more reads and more unlocks. Cause I know a lot of people, like when I first started, I wasn't even focusing on locks. I was like, look, I got reads. I'm happy. Um, but I'm guessing that, you know, we have this month, March is the last month of getting pay for our free tokens. Yeah. So for your if, free, your free episodes. Yeah. Yeah. So if they're, um, if they use those free tokens, this starting next month, we're going to, I mean, that's going to be a big cut. That's going to, I don't think, cause I mean, that's a lot of what I rely on is bringing in new readers and it takes, especially since they're giving, they give anywhere from 200 free tokens, which I think is the baseline. And some people are getting the 500 free tokens. So that's like almost a whole story. For me, I think that's like, I still got like eight more episodes after the 500 mark. So that's a good chunk that you might not get paid for, but, um, I but was told it was, um, a cease payment for the first three episodes. Oh, I, I was it told was it was no more bonuses for the free episodes, not for the free tokens. And this is why it would be important for Amazon to have that page so we can know what the heck's going on. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so, I mean, that, what, that's not going to change me from leaving Bella. I really like this platform. I like um, how easy it is. Gosh, I love how easy it is to just upload episode. Yeah. Scarily easy. Like <laughs> it is. It's it's very easy. Yeah, like just putting it in and being like published, and I'm like, well, that's done. Um, <laughs> I hope I should I have double checked that because now it's locked up until it's you know like. <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's um being able I wish we I know some people want to be able to talk to like have like comments where you can um yes interact with your readers I don't know I I'm I'm, I've just never done it before so it makes me kind of (laughs) nervous to see what they would say but maybe it's not on my wish list yeah um like I said the season the seasons communicate communications and like I said having like a, a more of a baseline for bonuses so that like if you improve, I feel like your bonus should improve. I feel right. 
but maybe that's just me. Maybe I just feel like there's a lot of like mystical calculations. And I feel like every time the bonuses are revealed, everybody gets together in like a group huddle, like, you know, um, a mad team of scientists. And they're like, okay, you, this is compared to the last, you know, four months and the sun was at this angle. So obviously we've made, you know, 1200 to uh, 600. We don't know. We don't, we should be in there. So, um, and then it's like, oh, you got 200. You were so close. So, um, but yeah, so it, it feels like a, a theory that we'll never understand. And I wonder if there's somebody behind the scenes chuckling and being like, I'm going to do it different this month just to freak them out. So um, well, there's, there's so many moving parts already that it's, it's, it's always going to be impossible to calculate because I know for a fact that one of the one of the elements that they calculate is how how often you upload or and that for me and not just how often you upload but how regular are these mm uploads you know so are you uploading every eight days are you uploading every five days are you but most important are you uploading like in reasonable chance yeah. of time here within a day or two of the same number of days between episodes so that's that's one okay that's one element <laughs> another's number of white, words we need a whiteboard where right, I can be. right exactly another's <laughs> like number of words okay mm. everyone I got that one different. everyone will be different and um that and then you know then they have this arbitrary number for the pool mm. okay the pool that's distributed so the the number the aggregate number will never be the same so it'll never be calculable <laughs> under any circumstances. I know. Even when the stars are my green you chant and you burn incense and you kill a yeah. chicken, it's not going to happen. I feel, but it, this was my dream. I just wanted to have some type of, found, like, I wanted to know that if I worked harder this month, that I would get an extra cookie. Okay. And I'm not getting it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm getting a half cookie that somebody ate and I don't know who it is. Okay, so um <laughs> bots ate my cookie. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sad about it. Had sprinkles. Okay, so um anyways, but yeah, I I mean there isn't too much. I, I feel like they've done a really good job like improving some of the things. I um I'm not gonna complain too much besides what <laughs> besides the list I just went through. <laughs> um, um so other than that last night, yeah, other than I got this nothing to say. that I just pulled out in red. Um, <laughs> I'm completely content. Um, and so, yeah. I, please, I hope Amazon doesn't watch this and they're like, okay, you're never going on the featured list again. Um, so, <laughs> I'm taking painful. names. I'm taking names. I know that's, that's a very painful thing to do. Like, especially when you're not like, on any of the tags like the featured list is like oh i know please, please sir i know <laughs> can, can i be featured just to have a little bit of a uh, free advertisement that i'm not spending up the wazoo can i have some more yes yeah. <laughs> oh, please yeah i feel like it's, you know it's, i did that people out there i've written 20 mellows i've never been on the news story list <laughs> i know it's and I don't understand the rhyme or reason, like who's getting picked. Why? I don't know. I'm, I'm not even, we're not even going to dive into that because I no, feel like that's like a conversation because this for another day, this will be, be an eight or nine hour thing. And if I that's, know. I would have to go days, get my pajamas. We need a subscription drive and you yes. need to do a <laughs> belly dance or something. <laughs> that's on you. That's you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure you've yeah. <laughs> never seen laptops close so fast. You've never seen screens crack across all the way across from someone just shutting it, just letting <laughs> keep their eyes. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. They, I, I think <laughs> that you should uh, have a fundraiser and see if you can get so many likes and you too can do your belly dancing skills for all. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, no, no, I don't think so. I think that uh, instead, I will ask you my final <laughs> question. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. Uh, don't be- For all no. the people who are gonna click on the link below in the description of this video and go and see A Forest of Stolen Memories, what do you have to say to them? about Vela, about life, about whatever. This is your chance. My chance? This is Thank your you. chance. It's your turn. Oh gosh, there's no pressure. I wasn't prepared for this one. Um, <laughs> thank, thank This you. is for the crown. I feel, I feel like I know there's so many great and wonderful stories on Vela. Like I can see them. I can see what's trending. I can see all what's in the top tags and what's on top on the fave list. Um, and I mean, when people read my story, even if you're just looking at like the first couple episodes, it means so much to me. Like, I mean, I don't really even care about the money. My husband would be like, what? Um, but I, <laughs> I don't care about the money. Um, I, I just love having, you. yeah, he's probably yeah. somewhere he's at at work, just like choked on his coffee. Um, so <laughs> uh, I just care that, you know, that there's, somebody's out there they're reading my story like the story that's been living in my head for like a couple well I, I was a couple of months when I first started writing it now it's been a year and all these characters and when people like talk to me about my characters I'm just like yeah well, tell me yeah, some more like, yeah and so um or like especially at the beginning because uh in the four stone memories it starts with her losing her memory completely and um, she's cursed and she doesn't know what's going on. And she's in the middle of her own wedding ceremony trying to marry a prince. And she doesn't know, you know she's like, I'm not gonna marry this guy, which I hope all of you would do. Um, so, uh, which I've had a few people be like, uh, I'd marry the prince, what are you talking about? And I'm like, you don't know him. Okay, so that's just another side story. Um, so- I've been anyways. roofied, but it worked out. Yeah, he was very <laughs> handsome. And so, um, Anyways, so, <laughs> which he is, he is very handsome, very charming, Prince Charming. And so um, I, uh, I love that you, you, the reader are like, both are on the same page as Rose when she starts out where you both have this, just, you know, starting on a blank slate, which was great because I had to do no backstory. We just jump right in and um, like, I left a lot of like breadcrumbs as you read that gives you like little hints about Rose's life. And I love when people go back and they reread and they're like, I cannot believe that you literally wrote this right here and I missed it. And I'm like, I know that's the best part is that I had so many obvious clues, but you're like, that was too obvious. You know, that a lot of people just went over it. And so um, I like that. I've So if you are interested in clicking the link, I love, watching people go through the beginning part where she doesn't know and she's like discovering herself and you know what what she remembers and it's just I wish I could do it again like go through it and start all over but isn't that the truth yeah. you know even 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 as a reader you wish you could go back and go to the, the beginning again and go through it all again but uh and do it click the link I hope huh? and uh so thank you, thank I thank you. you very much for being, you know, taking your time and uh, doing a lawless interview here. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. You I know you have a busy schedule. <laughs> yeah, right. And all my millions. And so, um, yeah. All your writing days, writing, writing, writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm getting back there. I'm getting back there. <laughs> <laughs> when, um, so... I want everybody to click the links and go and read A Forest of Stolen Memories. And soon you will have to read A Sea of Golden Chains. Late summer, this summer, late. Yes. Don't, don't put me on record. <laughs> well, you know, summer is soon. When you're, when you're geezed out like I am, summer is soon. It's day well, after tomorrow. Yeah, I was like, here, here on the island, it's already like summer is already here. <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> so I'm so, already late. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, yes, and you know, I'm not going to tell people where you are, but if you'd like to, you can. Oh, I'm in Okinawa, Japan. <laughs> this is a little yeah. tiny. So if you think of Japan, and this that's is that's why that, little dot. Here at the yeah, the Looney Kessel, there's 
but there it is. Yeah, I'll say yours is like what six or seven p.m. and I'm like eleven a.m. I'm just starting. Yeah, you're bright morning. <laughs> I have no winning lottery numbers. Please do not ask. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you again and say bye-bye. Bye. Bye.